How does he agree with everything I say? Is it weird that I'm a huge fan of Shalab? <laughs> Probably. Most people just voted on how they felt the best. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Does it feel good to Jake Paul your way through three easy pickings? Okay. <laughs> to all the viewers of this show, um, most of the Tommy episode was questions and debates that uh, I did with Lovely. What happened to the recordings of the Slack? A good hour or so after we finished recording, I went to review the footage and I was not recording my own. Yeah, that's what he says, okay? When Top Down is a farce, I filled every orifice you have verbally with Ludwig. Ludwig's sticker here, it doesn't look like Ludwig ever, like, at all. I don't think it does. <laughs> Holy shit, what is that behind him? I don't ever watch the other content. Like, what the fuck is this? And destroy every single argument you have. Like, talking to me, asking me about how many strongholds there are. I did win those arguments, uh, but unfortunately, you'll never be able to hear. And so I, I kind of just transferred the arguments over. Honestly, uh, same. I yeah. I agreed with everything he said. He made so much sense. For all the past, let's not, let's not focus on the fact that you picked on two teenage British kids. Today, we're going to talk about rather be invisible or fly. Mm. Nice little superpowers. What do you think? Flight isn't the best superpower. No. But between the two options, flight is the best one for sure. I would argue that it also is not the best superpower to be able to uh, to be able to be invisible. But I think this Are you kidding me? I don't know if he doesn't make the airplane argument then he's going to lose this one. Imagine. Flight just gives you an opportunity to just fly nothing else you cannot do anything else which is fun but invisibility holy shit you can enter banks and steal a couple of hundred dollars without even like being seen you can enter airplanes and fly for free nobody will see you you're invisible right you just you can just hang out in the toilet and nobody will see you um you can go anywhere any fucking where Considering you're invisible, you can do anything. And if you're a fucking creep, peeping Tom. Like. And having to. And here's why. You know the government? Yes. You know, uh, you know they like to fuck with people? Mm -hmm. Like they'll try and convince you that your <laughs> uh, sons didn't die and then give you a fake son. And then uh, when you try and, and tell them that this is not my son anymore, they put you in a mental hospital and then. What? Uh, Lobotomize you through through your skull, put an ice pick through your brain. Less, less familiar with it, but okay. They'll keep you in a cage if they see you flying, Ludwig. That's my point, and I think that's. Oh, what <laughs> the government will do. <laughs> it's gonna do like. <laughs> you think they're not aimed everywhere? So your big argument on flight is worse than being invisible. It's not because being invisible is good. No, but it's because flight could get you trapped. It will. In a, in a, in a, in a <laughs> exactly. Trap. Nobody will know you're invisible because you're invisible. <laughs> that makes so much sense. Okay. Well, shall I? Wait, hold on. Oh. Recording a podcast. What's up? Oh, that's the simple what's up. Your whole argument is predicated on the fact that the U.S. government would entrap anybody who shows the ability to fly. <laughs> if they don't shoot you down first, right. you will be shot. That's true. Fire <laughs> jets if they see you doing that shit. Hey, let me reach across the aisle here. I agree with you. They shot down a fucking balloon that was tracking the weather because it came from China. So I <laughs> said it gets an emergency meeting. They shoot my ass down. Exactly. It's not too dissimilar to how they would like to treat somebody that was invisible because. Presumably, if you were invisible, you'd be doing invisible things. How are they going to get you? Well, let's be real. We're talking about the American government. So they, if you probably are invisible, nah. I bet you thought you had your phone in your pocket or some shit. No. No, you'd be really smart, Mr. Guy. I'd be fully naked. <laughs> also, wait. Um, are we talking invisibility where, where you are only affecting your whole body? Or invisibility where you wear something and it's also invisible with the, with the clothes? If it's with the clothes, I mean, context matters in this point, right? I mean, 
I think context matters. What, you get that? Yeah. Okay. I had super dodgy. <laughs> I can't yeah, imagine. Like, that. Like, what do you want? He, he's that? going That's around naked. I have enhanced lung capacity, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're gonna take a shit now. <laughs> the poop is coming out. <laughs> All right, I believe you. If you remember Stranger Things, you remember uh, Seven from that show? They kept her in a cage and fucked her. name's not Seven. The they kept her in a cage and fucking pumped yeah. and prodded at her. They kept her in a cage, yeah. Fucking pumped and prodded at her at the beginning of that show. Remember that? I'm with him. I'm with him. I'm with him. I'm with him. I'm like, he's like, I have increased lung cap capacity, but then every time he holds his breath, he ends up crying. <laughs> so they're going to catch him anyway. <laughs> because he ends up crying every time. Like... <laughs> <laughs> That's so well, stupid. That shouldn't even be hurt. You didn't use it for that. You were holding your breath. You weren't bleeding it. So you throw I think because you were arguing on the fact that flight in America could get you shot down. That's you true. Your heart of hearts believe that flying would be a, a fun, magical experience. Yes, we do. And if we lived in a, in a government or in a society in America where they wouldn't shoot us down, then you wouldn't be as stressed. It sure. would never so be like that. Point. I'm just going to take my ass over to Spain. <laughs> I have dual citizenship. I can go to France if I want. I can go to Sweden. They're gonna put you in a box regardless. He has oh, dual citizenship? You have extra IQ. From where? I'm taking the fucking bottle. Let's come on back on him over here. That's such a different situation. No, it's not. No, it's not. The French population rioted in the streets this past week because they raised the age of retirement by two years. Exactly. All right. so I did that. The French government is just as evil and oppressive. Yes. Yes. The people will roll over them. No. You have no idea what it is. But I'm just, I'm just, I, I'm just, I'm just writing on the fact that we're in Europe. That's it. Because if France doesn't, if France doesn't do anything, I mean, not to get political or anything. I'm not a political person or anything. But you know. If uh, France doesn't, uh, you know, get that stick out of the ass, <laughs> I'm moving to the U.S. <laughs> no, I mean, I can't. I don't have money, but I will move. <laughs> I mean, I'd rather live in capitalism than um, dictatorship, you know. Where? Japan. Japan. What does that mean? Literally, Ludwig, your, your argument will not make sense because the, the argument he made was that any any kind of society who sees anyone that's different, who is looking at something different, is always going to be scary. Immigrants, scary. Anyone who's different, scary. So he made the perfect perfect argument. You're not going to be able to rule over this because that's just human nature. I don't know why he's trying to, but they uh, put me in a box. They don't have an army in Japan. Yeah, they would. They put you in a box. So Japan a would box. smash you so with anime boots. How about that? Sweden. Sweden, they'd love me there. I would love you. If you had someone with superpowers, you would. Yours. I'd be flying over Sweden. <laughs> yeah. You don't even understand what I'm saying. Like, you put someone Does he even know Swedish? Or is he making shit up? If I was in America, yeah, of course. It's my God given right. But if I'm outside of the, 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 the confines of America, I'll fuck with that. We know how powerful the United States government is. True. And you. As Ludwig, you are a high VIP, very Look at him, he's so serious. <laughs> flying around, flying away, they're not gonna put up with that. They're gonna yeah. send a plane wherever, and they put you in that box, and they're gonna fuck with you. But if they get maybe anything, CIA, in the box, or guess what? I'm invisible now. I found a solution for this small. Did he cut his hair? Where's his mouth on? Okay. I'll just create an. A, oh my a, god, a I'm such a huge like fan no of flags. Activities. I just mean a secluded island that I get to fly in. So I'll, I'll make my own island that I go to to fly in. It'll be Ludwig Island. Nothing weird will happen there. I'm using, I should have used a different island, but what I'm trying to say is I'll just find an island, and then that will be my island that I can fly in. It's my flying island. <laughs> yeah. Imagine yeah. being so rich. No, 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 no. There's no luck. There's no longer, nobody works there, it's just an island. Imagine being so rich, be like, I want, a, I want an island. <laughs> Next to touch the ground? <laughs> no, no way. Uh, Mr. Beast, new Mr. Beast video. <laughs> Next to uh, f uh, Next to touch the ground uh, ha ha gets uh, $10 million. Um, 
That, that was a horrible joke. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm really not energetic. <laughs> I'm waiting for people. Uh, I'm waiting for people to come so that I can start the movie. I'm waiting for you guys. Everyone, everyone, everyone. Oh, uh, what the fuck? What the hell? Um, okay. Oh, ah. Oh, no, no, not this. So I'm waiting for you guys. But yeah, let me just finish this. Podcast, so let everybody know I'm not a president. We put a box. You're not going to hear it. We put a box where every you know a box. Visibility will get you out of any situation in which you're entrapped. Where are you flying that's so important? Or is it just the act of flying that's important? I just would love, I think it would bring me immense joy to fly around the world. I oh my god, I, I would feel so flying scared flying. I like planes and riding planes, but they're so scary. No matter what it is. Look it up on your computer. What is this? What is it? What is that? Look it up. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, my invisible, my invisible guys are the best. What do you mean they're the best? Invisible guys, the invisible, the invisible minion. Stuff. Okay. Most of them. <laughs> and be, they, they want to be little perverts. Or you said I'm gonna buy a, a second version of Epstein's Island to go and have my fun there. It's not like a lot of people buy islands. It's not like I don't have another island guy off the top of my head, so I'm trying to think of the island that you can buy. Long Island That's America. I'm trying to think of something that's like <laughs> Long Island that you can buy. You can't buy Long Island, can you? It was Epstein's Island. It's, it's, all, it's an island. It's not in a country. It's like an island. It was in the U.S. It was in the U.S. Virgin Islands. You fucking idiot. <laughs> Clyde is so dope. Clyde Dude, is so you, dope. Bro. You're a fucking idiot. My God. Clyde is so dope. You think you can buy a, a small island and not be under not be under any jurisdiction? Yeah, I thought I'd just buy a fucking island and then it'd be my fucking island. I didn't think I, I, then I thought I could. Oh yeah, I was just about a fucking island, and then I'll just start flying and shit, and nobody can tell me what what the fuck to do. You know, I'm I'm fucking rich. I just want to be happy and at peace. Like missing shit wherever I want, and no one freaks out. You're a streamer, which means you only care about validation. So you'd only be enjoy you only enjoy flying if people saw you fly. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's so. Oh, he, he makes Trump. such good arguments. Sometimes I'm scared he's a narcissist. <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay. Life is about is about in pursuit of happiness. It's about finding finding joy, finding things that make you happy. Uh -huh. There's a few things that make everybody happy. It's relationships. It's your it's your fellow it's your fellow comrades. It's your it's your loved one. Money. Money is financial freedom, which allows you to enjoy those things around you. Mm -hmm. But there's also other things. There's other things. Hobbies. A gaming maybe that that brings you a little bit of joy. The greatest joy I have in my day to day life outside of people is is riding around my Vespa during sunset. There's a sense of sereneness. And oh yeah, he found it. Sun fades and his darkness comes. His Vespa got stolen. The the the, 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 the now, Japanese uh, fly, little car. It's so cute. I want one as well. With the noise, with the but light, I want one like in right? a pink. Like the sunset, the vantage point no one's ever seen. I feel like that experience alone, I could die happy. When you button up a shirt, do you button it from top to bottom or from bottom to top? Bottom to top. Okay. What's the shirt? What's the occasion? Button, shirt, shirt with buttons, a jacket. Sure. A jacket, a dress shirt, could be really anything. No. I don't button jackets. It's different. Okay. You button different articles of clothing differently? Yeah, I would say that. Yeah, that's a really good way to put my article. How do you do that? 
Can you explain it? Well, I guess to preface, you button every single thing with buttons top down always. Every single piece of clothing that I oh. have, I start at the very tippy top. Or oh, no. Buttons. This is the only so place we don't agree, Schlatt. First time ever. So it changes. It's not always at the top. It start wherever, it start no, wherever. you always have to start at the bottom because there's no way you can mix it up. Okay. At the top, you always do, do it like a mistake. So always start at the bottom and then go up. You are a groomsman. Congratulations, Slat. All right, you got to wear a button down and tie. Did he say Slat? Absolute throat crunching. He said Slat. Okay, well, I start from this, maybe the second to top. Oh, I'm going to say slats from now on. Slats. You start at the bottom. Can we talk about this for a second? I agree with Ludwig. What? I have flexibility. All right? I, I do what is most convenient in my life. Sometimes it's the bottom. Sometimes it's halfway up. But I would never, ever start the bottom. the bottom. <laughs> so dishonestly, you stupid fucking bitch. <laughs> Pinhead looking pipsqueak motherfucker. Where are you going? Pick the stance. Pick the stance, Mogul. You're easy pickings. I'm not easy. You you do it weird. You fall apart. All right? SVB is who I'm talking to, to right now. They're going to put you in a box. <laughs> the way you put the button down shirt. They're not going to put me in a box. They're going to put you in a box because you're talking Who buttons yourself. up a jacket? They're going to put you in a box because you button the top neck box. See, this one you can I told the viewers. Bro, who who fucking talk about buttons my fucking jacket? very extreme case that seems to make the rest of the common sense. Flats, I don't agree with you this time. You haven't even said what you do. I told you what I do. You haven't even said what you do. These geeks are very famous streamers. Um, this guy's Ludwig. He's uh, one of the. He was in Twitch. He uh, he broke a record actually of Sabaton. And then he moved to YouTube, and then Slat is, well, technically Shalat, but we're going to call him Slat from now on, is, um, I have no idea, actually. I, I just started watching him, like, a while ago, not so long ago, and um, I quickly, quickly had a crush on him. I still have a crush on him. <laughs> um... But yeah, he doesn't stream that much on... In fact, it has been a long time since he streamed, I think. I don't watch his streams. I, us, I usually watch his YouTube uh, podcast. I follow his podcast with uh, this other guy called Ted. Watch some cool streamers. Like who? Um, with uh, The thing about my attention span is that <laughs> Speed or Amaranth, oh my god, <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> Both of these people make my kind of videos. I mean, I, I rarely um, watch streamers because I don't like being ignored, you know? It feels really... I'm really sensitive when it comes to the things, so... <laughs> when I type in the chat and then the, the streamer ignores me, I don't like it. So I don't really watch people that much um i'd rather people come to me and talk to me rather than me going to them and being ignored because i get ignored by chat i get ignored by the streamer and then i feel like oh what is going on and then i just leave you know um yeah mm. yeah let me finish this oh uh top g Sneaker versus yeah, I watch him on YouTube actually. I don't watch his um, stream because I, I like I said it. Uh, I get ignored most of the time, <laughs> and um, yeah. But yeah, sneaker versus most quicker. I'm totally following. I also watch uh, Pyrocynical's video. Yeah, I watched that a Mid Canyon video. Oh my god, we can watch it after again if you want. You can watch that one. But um, uh, Top G, I was thinking of watching uh, because today's Throwback Thursday. We, I was thinking of watching. Uh, what do you call um, Back to the Future Two? If you want to join, you can join the Discord so that we can watch together. Uh, if you have time, that is. If not, uh, I guess I'll be canceling it because there's no one here. So yeah. Bye. The most comfortable is to start down here. It, it would be probably in somewhere, maybe the third or fourth button up to create a bit of tension. That's fucking insane. 
need to create a bit of tension around oh my god ludwig is insane now he starts oh my god that's insane i just look halfway down and i just grab the button that feels natural but it's so easy to tell from the top where the buttons start no it doesn't it's the bottom you should start from the water bottom you don't watch full movies what why how why don't you watch full movies how why are you those kind of people who don't who doesn't who doesn't watch movies at all? <laughs> huh? What's the last movie? Watch Mr. Recapped. Who is this? Hi. Ah. What is this? Women are extinct and men take over the role in the role in giving offspring. I can watch 20 movies by the time you're done with the Back to the Future. Oh, because of this guy? You were, were okay, wait, I need to finish this, then I'm gonna watch that, okay? <laughs> Is he, does he make ironic videos? Okay, you know what, never mind, let's she finish this. So easy to go to the next Although, wait, how can you watch 20 movies by the time you're done with Back to, by the time I'm done with Back to the Future? How? Is it because you watch Speed that you're very speedy <laughs> but I'm, <laughs> I'm so funny <laughs> you missed one go to the very top this is okay i mean hey you said top down that was your you said you always eat top down it's He's like, I'm just giving you an example uh, that immediately deteriorated your argument of a dress shirt where you would, where you would not go top down, you would save the top for later. And so now I'm a crazy. I do that as well sometimes, but with content that. I how do I say for example mukbangs you know I watch mukbang and I watch it like at two times speed because I I want like them to like eat so quickly you know like <laughs> and, and that's the only content I watch very speedy I think other than that like, most of the things I watch are, are people who talk fast but articulately you know like SQC I can't watch him because he talks so like that like oh it's everything uh, two times speak you know <laughs> and then uh, he, he talks like that that what you said earlier or did you say you always go top down so let's have some consistency. You still it to the stupidest fucking, the stupidest fucking edge case. It's not an edge case. It's so dishonest. It's so dishonest. At its core, every single rule that you create in life should be applicable for all scenarios. You just live in this kind of amorphous state of, oh, I don't know. I don't have, I don't, whatever's good for me at that time. Well, maybe so what? I'm, I can't imagine, like just making content with these these two like oh, especially slack one day maybe i will be able to make content with them but you know for now i'll just watch them from afar <laughs> that what? what's the uh, next topic i'm not done oh i think in general most people <laughs> wait <laughs> what did he say that you create in life. i can laugh like that break though <laughs> <laughs> That's how he laughs. <laughs> Look, I don't know how. Um, 
Ludwig laughed. Ludwig and La uh, <laughs> Yeah, they have the same exact laugh. Look at them. I have 11,000 subs. I just dropped 40 subs since I started streaming. I dropped 1,000 tweeted hours. I'm poor. I have to eat this. You know I have to fly. And I'm not They're so cute together. Oh, yeah. <laughs> No, wait, what? He didn't laugh here. I want his... Oh. Okay. Ah, this guy, yes. Basically, it could be applicable for all scenarios. You just live in this. What pain looks like. Space. This is what pain uh, looks oh, like. Good for me at that time. Did you see that? That's what pain looks like. Wait, I keep missing what he says. Good for me at that time. What? What? <laughs> Did he say little baby say what? I think in general, most people will listen to what you just said, how you generally tend to button up and down your shirts from from the a middle point and then down all the way to the bottom of the He's shirt, insane and then back to the middle and then up a little and then up a little and so oh, it's it my O C D's acting up. I like feeling no, no, no. Like a ninety year old European who's just wearing the shirt way too open. <laughs> you know, you ever see those guys, those yeah. Europeans, they got like three buttons, and it's like they got like white chest hair popping out, right. but it's always like a little bulb. Like, ah, I can't go out. This is quite a little crazy. I get that. I'm on my way to the Abbey right now. Okay. So then I, I get like throughout the night, I like start buttoning up a little bit, like as I'm getting ready. But in the early stages, I like feeling, at least role playing for a little bit, that I that I could have this level of confidence, like a 90 year old geriatric European. <laughs> Usually end up going at some point from that bottom button where I'm European, and I think most people would just think that's an absurd postmodern nightmare. You use that word without knowing how it fit. In. What? What's postmodern about it? I heard it on Fox News. <laughs> <laughs> you mean? Oh, wait, is water wet? It's a good question, Sean. And I think it's kind of a, a head scratch. In is my, air my, airy? My it's office, not. It's not wet. Why do you think water is wet? No. Dive in. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Water is a button. Wet is a thing. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> water creates the wet. I'd say I don't think exactly. water is yeah. the wet. I can understand. Yeah. That. I'm talking like Starfire from Teen Titans. Is he like choosing the good sides on purpose or? Like, is he making sure that the other person is a contrarian just so that he can win the argument? <laughs> I mean, like, apart from the flight and and um, invisibility, I guess the um, what was what was his argument with Tommy and um, 
Alex. Oh, Alex was with cats and dogs, which is like, yeah. I guess that's like a personal preference for, but a lot of dog people don't like cats. Like, it's so weird. I don't know. Most pe dog people don't like cats. Cat people like dogs. It's just dog people don't like cats. Mm. Uh, it's kind of like same. People who like coffee do not like um, do not like tea, but people who like tea like coffee. I'm a tea person, but I like coffee too. Mm. If you have fire, if I lit my house on fire right mm -hmm. now, right, and shit on insurance, right, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. so I'm honestly kind of thinking about. It. Don't do that. Don't don't do arson. Would you say that the fire Stop. is burning? Is the fire itself, does it have that property of being burnt? Similarly, would water have the property of being wet? Is this a dishonest way of arguing? Because I don't think it is. Yeah, I would say it's a little dishonest because being wet is not a permanent state, but being burnt is, right? Like you are changing the state of matter. So when does something become wet? So wet, I think, generally is a visual... Okay, okay, he's kind of wrong. There's a lot of things that when you get wet, they change, um, like, chemistry, something like that. Some things are not supposed to get wet, you know what I mean? So that is, like, a bad argument, yeah, I would say. You can see when things are wet. Or you feel it with your senses. You can you can feel that is th that is something is wet. You can feel fire, so, too. So it doesn't visually look wet. Like a like a chair that's padded, where you sit down and it's very wet, and your ass gets wet instantly. It's happened to all of us, uh, right? And you're like, okay. I know it's wet because of that. What does this have to do with water? With water, I don't know if you can visually tell it's wet because how do we separate water from being wet? The water bestows the property of wetness. The water is not wet. the water is not wet itself. Right, exactly. Tell me, tell me why water isn't wet. <laughs> uh, <okay. laughs> Of water wet, would you say? I think any amount of water is wet, despite the fact that it's not sticking to anything. I think that it's the ability. Imagine if air was airy. Would you say that? Do you think wind is airy? <laughs> or air is windy? Oh, okay, actually, air is windy, but. Okay. I just. <laughs> I just gave him a good good point to argue with. <laughs> is what I'm talking about. How is water not wet? So I want to even understand. But the, water itself cannot be wet because if you put water on top of water, it just becomes water. When, it doesn't when, be... you, when you dry it, can you dry water? Yeah. If I'm wet, you can dry water. Water evaporates. Oh, there is a set amount of water on Yeah, water. but it doesn't become water. Billions of years ago, we will never get more water. You know that, right? No. We'll never get more? We're never going to get more water, ever. <laughs> we have as much water as we will ever have barring a nether meter full of ice. <laughs> Coming down to Earth. And if that happens, we got a lot more problems. And what do you think happens to the water? It recycles. It evaporates into the air and it falls back down. So yeah, water does by itself dry. You see, lost point. The, the, the property of being wet is only applied by the water itself. Yeah. The water has, has nothing to wet when it's a body. Right. It exactly. Can wet the ground below it, perhaps, but. In general, the water, the body of the water itself mm -hmm. can be wet because wet is the property of having water stick yeah. and affect it. Mm, exactly. Look, first off, I get the argument. I'm going to reach across the aisle. Mm -hmm. You're saying that water mm -hmm. doesn't change mm -hmm. states. So it's either always wet or always dry. But maybe I argue a little oh, but, but if if you put vapor on something, it doesn't become wet. Even if it's a different property of water, it still doesn't become wet. For water to be to be wet, it would mean that even if it changed <laughs> matter, even if it changed its um, <laughs> molecule molecular structure, <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I I can't I I agree with Slat. <laughs> oh my god! Maybe in my mind. Water, when it evaporates, when it becomes a gas, is no longer what we would call wet because it's not dense enough to make things wet. Now, there are certain points when it's in a gas state, there's enough water that it could make something wet. But most of the time, when it's evaporating, the same reason you walk around, you're not instantly getting wet, right? But that's you know, why it's not called water, right? It's, it's called vapor. So, I mean, it can't be wet, per se, if you're gonna, gonna go off of that concept. Right? Like, like, for example, 
We have blood inside of ourselves. Do we call ourselves bloody? Every liquid is wet. No way. You're going at another level here, okay? But imagine this. You, you have blood inside of yourself, inside of yourself right? I, do you call yourself bloody? Think about that. Something becomes bloody when the blood is not where it's supposed to be, right? Like bloody clothes, for example. Or if you're bleeding, right? But if it's inside of your body without like any bruises or anything like that, you're not bloody. So you can't be, like, water cannot be wet. You're bloody on the inside. <laughs> no, you, no, you bloody. <laughs> no, blood, you bloody fuck you. <laughs> No, but you can't be bloody on the inside. There's no such thing. We, we don't say that. There's no such thing. So you can't be bloody. So it's the same concept, I would say. I'm making such great arguments. Shlat should, should, should have an argument with me. I'm on the right side of things. Mm -hmm. Today, it's like, you know, you, you can feel that, right? But you understand that there's a gradient of, of when water becomes gas. You consider it dry. There's a dry day out or wet, a humid day out. So just like the yeah, but a humid day means that the day if itself is affected by the water and the humidity that is there. It, also, humidity. Humidity doesn't mean that there's water. There's vapor. Like that's what humidity means. Oh my gosh, Ludwig, it, it you're losing this on, one. On how you feel. There's no set answer. Every single thing in this world is nothing except how we perceive it with our senses. What are you talking about? That's true. <laughs> we perceive different from other creatures who perceive it differently. It's, 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 it's trying to find truth in subjectivity. Do you, do you smell the air? Like, do you breathe and say, oh, it's very airy today? <laughs> because the air is around you. You don't say, hey, it's airy. Oh, the nitrogen in the air is really good. <laughs> it's very airy right now. You, you don't say that, so why would you say that water itself is wet? What is not wet? He took on the gun. It's airy by default, exactly, but the, the concept itself is only... Um, you can call something airy if there is no air on it generally speaking right like for example if you're in a stuffed room and you're like what what no make your argument do not say no and just like run off you make your argument and then you're like no i didn't no no no, no. you can't just say no mm. you were wrong i am right no for moist and sneaky i don't know if it's applicable for water as wet it won't be airy if there's no air around. Exactly. So the concept of airy is is um, is made by the the substance itself, but the substance itself cannot be airy. You know. the The substance itself affects something else. That's how it becomes. So water is not wet. Water makes something wet. Yeah, exactly. There's an air everywhere. You don't go around saying, oh, it's very airy. Everything is, <laughs> everything is not air. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, that would have been so bad. Been yeah, we still have to make content together. Have we did that? Maybe you got that. Thanks so much for watching Dish Lab. Wait a minute. Yeah, but the ocean itself is uh, making you wet. What? You didn't have fun? Slab is like fun. Thanks so much. Absolute pleasure, buddy. Can't wait to see this. Okay, but it's not the water that's wet. It's the ocean, right? So the water itself is not wet. The concept of the ocean is wet. You know, you understand? 
ditchlatwin.com. What is this? I never went to his website. Me? It's, it's not, it's not working. Why is that? <laughs> but wait, uh, yeah. <laughs> to never have his argument picked up by not having one in the first place. Okay, let's watch this now. What is the ocean? Water. Okay, but if the ocean was just water, we'd not, we'd, we didn't, we wouldn't need for it to be called the ocean, right? So there's like obviously a distinction between just water and the ocean. Because if the thing in your cup could be called ocean, it wouldn't make sense. Ocean is a body of water. So water is not wet. The ocean is wet. Yeah, mindfuck, I know. I'm right. You're wrong. Mm -hmm. Completely frightened. In the opening scene, we are introduced to Dr. Alex Hess, an is that, research geneticist. Is that and his colleague, Terminator? Terminator? Who is a gynecologist. Together, they have created a fertility drug called Expectane. With the aim of reducing the chances of miscarriage, they have even tested the drug on a chimpanzee who has successfully become pregnant for seven months. Excited by their breakthrough in science, the duo presents their research to the Food and Drug Administration, or the FDA, and anxiously awaits their decision. A week later, Larry's... In your cup, in the ocean, it doesn't matter. No, what is not wet? Revealed that she you cannot prove otherwise because it is not wet. Child. While initially overjoyed, Larry's happiness is short-lived, as Angela requests him to be her doctor. So, he promptly declines, asking her to find another physician. Shortly after, Larry receives a call from the head of the FDA review board named Noah Baines, who informs him that their drug has been disapproved. That's not all. The FDA has decided to replace their project with the one of Dr. Diana Redden from the Ovum Cryogenics Department. This term which, leaves Alex which movie is this? They put their heart and soul into the research. Which movie is this? Which movie is this? Which movie? 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 This one? Sixth day? Is it this one? I didn't watch this. A man meets a clone and sells him to grants from the clones taking over the world. Ooh, I gotta watch this. I think we should do like a, a Arnold Schwarzenegger. When is his birthday? We should watch like a, a Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold, a 